Welcome to your Sing Snout Church, Full of Grace Ministries. Here, we are one big family. I need you, and I'm so glad you're here because you might have something you want to share today, and you're at the right place to share it because we are the family of God, and if you have a gospel song today, make sure you share it below. Send your song over. Now, we have fine gospel ministers of music, and the church is so proud of each and every one of them. They are doing a work of the Lord and sharing their gifts they have to all their brothers and sisters, and so many are being blessed. I know I have. I've listened to your songs over and over daily. Keep singing your song. I need to hear your song today. Now, we have two ministers of music, one named Willis, known as Willis Donny Nine. We want to remember him in prayer. He's been having some, some dental problems and kidney stone problems. Church, let's remember our minister of music in prayer. And another minister of music we have is Ed, known as Praise His Name. Oh, Lord, I like that. Praise His Name. And he's needing a touch of for his eyes. Been having eye problems. My brothers, hang on in there. You got a family here that loves the Lord, and we're going to say prayers, put you on the prayer list, and you know everything's going to be all right. You know Jesus is your best friend. Now, we're going to go on into this message. Trish is going to start us off, and hang on, family of God. We need each other. Okay, when you uh, go to adopt a child, of course, we're adopted into the family of God. Okay, when you adopt a child, you go to the place and you choose that child. Now remember, children have different personalities, just like your children have different personalities. And they are taught and brought up in the same way, yet they go in different directions. Like all kinds of different churches, we all have the same family of God, adopted by God, in one family name, and that name is Jesus. That makes us brothers and sisters, and we being many need each other. Mm, my brothers and sisters, I need you. Oh, we being many here on Full of Grace. Every Sunday we see many join together. Every Sunday we see many sharing their songs on Full of Grace. Every uh, Sunday morning we hear uh, miracles that's being performed where people are getting healed. Oh, us being many members, we need each other. Let's go on into Romans 12, 4, and 5. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one member one of another. Let's go on into Corinthians 12 and 12. For as the body is one and hath many members are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit we are all baptized into one body. Well, glory. For whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. <clears throat> well, glory, one spirit, spirit of God, family of God, we need the spirit of God to be in our midst. Now, the Lord has walked with you, with you throughout your life. He has taught you, he has led you, and you know he's been right there beside you on your journey. Now the Lord has given you gifts. The Lord has talked to you privately. You have talked to the Lord many times at night. The Lord has showed you things that he might not have showed me. I might have been in my bed 
in the men hours to, at night and God came down and visited with me and showed me things that you have not seen. He has given you gifts that he has not given me. But child of God, family of God, when we put our gifts together that our Father up above has given us, we can do mighty and great things in the name of Jesus. Now you, my friend, are my family. I love you. We got the same Father and we carry the same family name, Jesus. All family carries a family name. We know our family name, and that name is Jesus. We have put on his name. That makes us one big family in the family of God. We all have been taught by God in our personal relationship with him. What you have learned, I might not know. What I have learned, you might not know. But when we both put what we learn together, mm, great things can happen. You know something I don't know. I want to know about it. I might know something you don't know, and it might just set you free and help you today. Great things can happen when we put what we've learned together. God talks with us all individual. We have our own relationship with God. The gifts you have, I might not have. The gifts I have, you might not have. Mm, great things happen when we put them gifts together because these gifts can be signs and wonders that the God above is dealing with each child. And then when we as children get together in the name of Jesus, we see great things happen. Trish is gonna go on and read about some of the gifts that God gives his people. You might have some of these gifts. Now listen to these gifts. Okay, in Corinthians chapter one verse, uh, Corinthians chapter 12 verse one. Okay, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Go down to verse six. And there are diversities of operations, but the self same God worketh in all. But the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For one is given the spirit, the word of wisdom, to one the word of knowledge by the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit, another working of miracles, another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these